Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mole Trap, and uh, welcome to game four of Samsung Converse CJ Entis. CJ Entis. It's kind of a cool word, Entis. Uh, of course, Samsung Con is also a cool name. Um, wow, movie on a roll right now. Movie's taken out great. Eh, decent feat. Uh, Taking out Firebite Hero, also a pretty good thing to be able to do. Uh, now facing Jangby here. Now, uh, six eight months ago, I would I would not give would not give Movie a chance of winning this game. By the way, Movie the red Protoss at the bottom right corner, uh, Jangby the teal Protoss at the top left corner. Just to keep that straight there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't have given. I mean, this Jangby not that long ago was one of the top players in the game back when the dragons reigned um, back when he was facing off against Bisu in the finals of a uh, couple star leagues and um, then he kind of like I mean this happens a lot to players like it happened to best for instance where he had this meteoric rise and you know what I've never understood that phrase meteoric rise that's the stupidest phrase because meteors don't rise they fall. That's what they do. Is that's why? That's like that's <laughs> like why would you describe someone as rising meteorically? Um, maybe I guess that's appropriate actually in this case um, because Jangby did meteorically rise into the depths of obscurity after he failed to get a couple of star leagues in a row. He was real. I mean, he was actually really consistent for a while. I mean, he got to the semifinals to lose to Cal. Uh, he got to the finals to lose to uh, Bisu and the GOM, and um, I think he lost in the finals to Luxury that same season, if I recall correctly. Um, so, you know, it wasn't as if he was a one-hit wonder like your, uh, you know, your Fergigis or your Mines or your Bests, because uh, anyway, that's, that's what I was going to say, is that he, in a similar fashion to those guys, got up really high and then just, like, died just like completely started sucking um for a while so but anyway so jangby is like he's coming back up now is that is my point that i'm trying to get at here um by the way both players just going one to one gate tech builds here i don't know if that zealot's gonna block that ramp uh maybe it does maybe uh is it gonna be able to yeah i guess that zealot does block the ramp um <clears throat> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Jangbees, I love this wireless headset because I can just like right now I'm just leaning back in my chair and I'm still able to comment right now. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna fall out of it when like something exciting happens. But um, neither play getting a scout in. That's kind of interesting. Both players just doing one gate uh, tech builds here. We might see some variation here pretty soon. Citadel going down for movie. There's some variation for you there. Um, and movie actually got his core up a little bit quicker is what it looked like uh, as well. Uh, well, obviously, since his Citadel is going down right before um, Jangby's core going up. So it's interesting. It looks like Jangby opted for a second pylon instead of the core. So I think he's going for a little bit more economy. De delaying that core a little bit in order to um, sneak out an extra probe or two. I believe it's what's happening there. Again, I'm not an expert, so um, could be wrong about that. Um, but... Um, yeah, neither player getting a scout in at all. Oh yeah, yeah. So just to finish that thought, I can't. Um, so Jangby's kind of on his way back up. He he did really well for a few seasons, and then he kind of stopped. Um, and then he's been building himself back. Actually, Khan in general, like this is the comeback season for Khan, because for a while there, all they had was Stork, and Stork wasn't even at the top of his game. So it was just like, you know, Jangby was in the pits. And uh, Firebat Hero was in the pits as well. And they didn't really have anything. Uh, they weren't even playing. They weren't even fielding Firebat Hero in the pro league for a while there. Um, so now this season, though, we've got Firebat Hero making a comeback, play, playing well. We've got Jangby making a comeback and playing well. So it's really interesting. Now, um, <clears throat> Jangby is also a macro player. So it could be a fun, long match here with uh, Movie. Usually you don't see macro PvPs, though. Um... I mean, obviously there's expansions and what have you, but you don't usually see the PVPs go that long with tons of expansions. Um, anyway, so we got the Templar coming out here, and uh, I don't know if 
JB has anything that he can do about this Templar. I haven't seen... He's got the Robo, but he... What is that? Oh, it is an Observatory! Wow, so he actually is probably going to get Observers out just in time to uh, fend off this Dark Templar. It's actually looking really good for... Um, Jangby, and he sneaks in, he sees that expansion as well, he's probably going to see the Templar Archive, so he's no, going to know exactly what's going on, oh my god, epic fail, well, not ep epic fail, but I mean, a, a little bit of a failure by movie not, um, keeping that, uh, probe out, I mean, he wanted to put some pressure on Jangby, um, so he can have his forces to support that Dark Templar, that DT's not going to be able to do anything, though, Observer is about to pop out there, he's got a nice little wall, oh, he's going to sneak out the Zealot, oh, Oh, is the Observer going to pop? There's the Observer! He's going to pop out and not a single kill for the Dark Templar! No! Kill, kill it, kill it, kill it! Oh, finally kills it. I thought he was going to fall back for a second. Whew, that was a close one. He, he he thought it was dead and started to run away, and that Dark Templar almost got in there to kill a probe off in the meantime. But now Jangby has a much larger army, and um, the movie's just going to have to depend on an expansion. He's getting a fourth gateway up. He's now getting his range going. For his Dragoons, Jangby is going to try and match him with another expansion, but he got those Observers out at just the perfect, perfect timing uh, to get them to block the Dark Templar rush, so nothing done by the DT rush. Um, and now, Movie's going to have to basically play defensively. Uh-oh! Uh oh He's sneaking in. Oh, he's got the Observer overhead, so nice. He's going to be able to block that DT from sneaking in. A good thought by Movie. Good thought by Movie. Um, trying to sneak in that DT, uh, but it's not going to happen. He's going to be forced to fall back there. And now, Jangby trying to pressure the front here. Uh, we've got a, a, a shield battery in place for movie, which is um, really going to help him out a lot. It's really a, an important thing here because he knows he has less of an army. He spent so much money on those tech and those DTs that didn't do anything. He had less of an army. Actually, now he has more of an army, but he has, doesn't have goon range upgraded yet. So that's another big advantage that Jangby had on him uh, for a second there. And he's actually teched up to Templars himself very quickly. So uh, it looks like that probe, uh, uh, probe's going to go down. Um, GT just sneaks in there, takes out the probe, says peace. That's all I kind of came for. Oh, is he going to lose it though? The observer's in play. Oh, one more volley, one more volley, one more hit. DT's going to live. Um, but Jamie Hound now has his expansion up as well, so basically kind of on even footing right now. A couple DTs out for Jamie and his own probe that was blocking the enemy DT from running up his ramp is uh, going to block his own DTs for a moment. They're going to finally get out though. Uh, I don't think it's going to do well. There's no observers in place, so he's going to be able to pick away at, at, at Movie's army for a while. Um, he's going to be able to get observers out before they do any real permanent damage. Jamie being very, very, very consistent about making sure he's protecting his um, his expansion there. He's not letting an observer out of... He's not he's making sure he always has an observer inside of that location. And actually, Movie has built up a substantial amount of forces. There's DTs in play. DT sneaking into his main, though. He's got a DT pelting away at the back there, but it's not going to be able to equalize. He's got way too many dragoons. He's going to have to pull probes. DT going after that cannon. If he can kill off that cannon, he's going to be able to shut down mining that expansion. He's trying to trip up the mining. Oh, he's got a couple hits left on the cannon. Cannon gets one hit off. Cannon goes down. No detection there. In the meantime, he's pierced. He's broken through. Uh, Jangby's defenses has his expansion though, but that one DT going to work, um, he's just now about to get observers out, and how many kills on that two kills on that Dar Templar? Not a, as many as he would have hoped. Um, he really should have run, well, there's a cannon in the main, so it won't do any good actually, but he's going to be able to stop mining that expansion for a while, which is going to be really effective, and that that DT basically saved Jangby's expansion um, because the DT was able to force those Dragoons to fall back. He had broken through Jangby's defenses, broken his army, but that one DT was enough uh, to, to 